Thanks for watching the Buy Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb D2. In today's video number six, we're here to talk about how to set up the audio. By the way, a big welcome to VR Essentials. We talk about VR educational entertainment and the practical uses of virtual reality. If it's your first time to the platform, very nice to meet you. And of course, as always, it's always awesome to have you among us if you are a regular subscriber. In the previous couple of videos, we spoke about how to pair the controls and set up the Guardian for the very first time, as well as how to fix the black screen error should this occur. Now, in today's video, as a time title suggests, we're here to talk about how to set up the audio. Now, just in case you are continuing from the previous video where you just switched on your VR headset for the very first time and you notice, of course, that the adapter has an LED flashing and then also the HP logo on the VR headset, you may also notice if you had any sound running on your computer that there is sound coming out of your speakers. If there is sound coming out from your speakers on your HP Reverb D2, you'll notice that when you go back to your computer on the bottom right hand side where you see the little volume icon on your taskbar, just right click and then you'll notice that the driver is called Realtek USB 2.0. Now if you are hearing sound coming out from your speakers on your VR headset, Make sure that on your Windows PC, the sound is set to 50 to begin with and nothing higher. This is because there has been reports online of many different people who have purchased the HP Reverb D2 who've had issues with the left speaker. If you can't hear any sound coming out of your speakers, however, let me show you how to fix this. Now make sure that you go down to the right hand side of your computer screen on your taskbar and right click on the speaker icon and then just scroll until you see the Realtek USB 2.0 driver and then make sure that you select it and also make sure that your master sound is set to 50 as I just mentioned just now. Now just play some music from your computer you should be able to hear all the sound coming out of the speakers from the actual VR headset itself. Now if you still can't hear any audio just go back to your Mixed Reality Home Go all the way down on the left hand side to the three little dots again and then click on settings which will open up the settings page. Now choose the audio and speech page. Now you'll see three options there. Make sure that the two first options are enabled and the third option is disabled. So what this will do is make sure that first of all all the sound will be patched to your VR headset and also that the mic by default will be the one from the HP Reverb G2. Now once you're done of course just close the window. doing quite a lot of testing I've also had some issues with my left speaker so here are some guidelines for you to follow that I think will be very useful to know before you proceed to the next step. Now go back to the right hand side on your taskbar at the bottom and then right click on the speaker icon again and then choose open sound settings. Now make sure that the output driver there of course is Realtek USB 2.0 and after I've done some testing make sure that if you are going to change the master volume of this driver don't go beyond 80 at all costs otherwise you may well have some crackling issues and even when you put it to 100 what happened with me is that my speaker completely switched off altogether. If you still can't hear any audio coming out of your speakers at this moment in time however just click on manage sound devices and then find the driver and make sure that the one selected which is the Realtek USB 2.0 is enabled. Do not click on disable if it says disable. Now let's just assume that you can hear everything coming out of your speakers now but if you still can't hear any sound coming out whatsoever from any of the right or the left speaker then I highly suggest you contact HP's customer support. Now go back to sound settings and click on the right hand side where you see sound control panel. Click on that. You'll see a pop-up will come up now just scroll down until you see the driver which is called Realtek USB 2.0 and then double click on that. It will open up another pop-up. Now leave the levels to 50 but if you really want to increase it as I mentioned before don't go above 80. 65 should be just fine. Now let's look at the enhancements tab. After a lot of testing I highly suggest that you do not enable the bass boost. The bass inside of the speaker is already very nice and it's only going to further increase potential damage to the speakers. Virtual surround is not going to make much of a difference in the speakers so no need to enable that either. If you want to have a more balanced sound you could look at room correction. It will basically analyze anything around the device and then equalize the sound correctly for you. Loudness equalization will also equalize all the various different settings inside of the speakers. Just make sure that your bass is not too high. If it is too high disable that as well because the bass will really damage your speaker. For the special sounds tab you could leave it off or you could choose another option that you're most comfortable with. 
just do perhaps some testing if you have several different options but for me I only have one so I'll just go with that and then once you're done just click on apply then ok repeatedly until all the different pop-ups are gone now of course you may not want the sound to actually come out of your HP Reverb D2 speakers you may want to use Bluetooth headphones or other earbuds of any kind so do make sure you're part of the notification squad and hit the notification bell after you hit subscribe because I'll be doing a dedicated video about how to set that up all right so the audio is all nicely done now let me share with you some tips and tricks as to how to set up the microphone. 